Hi there, Carl Massey here, coach, strategist, author of a few books, and I've got my latest book in the works, Decision Making Mastery, which is going to come out next year. And welcome to the Life Masterclass podcast, coming to you all the way from beautiful Bali, where it is a very warm day. The Definitely the monsoon season is upon us, the, the wet season. So I'm just melting away a little bit here. But beautiful blue skies outside, and I hope you've got blue skies or whatever the weather is for you, wherever you're listening to this around the world. So welcome to the podcast series, and I'm all about practical tips, tools, and strategies to help you raise your level of consciousness, creativity, success, joyfulness, fulfillment, meaningfulness, and anything else that you want to put into that mix. I'm super excited because in about 10 days, I'm going to be running the Life Masterclass online. I finally got it to an online offering and it's super awesome. I've been recording a bunch of videos. I just recorded one on productivity yesterday, about 35 minutes of the best of my productivity stuff I've picked up over the last 20 or so years. So make sure you check that out. Details are going to be down below. So today's podcast is as a result of doing my morning meditation. And I'm a daily meditator, and I've been a daily meditator for 10 plus years now. And next podcast, I'm going to talk a little bit more about meditation. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. And I'm going to explain why meditation has allowed me to write 4.8 books. Uh, and I'll give you the, the, the juiciness of that in our next podcast. So I'm having this meditative experience this morning. I'm listening to... Not a, a, a mix between guided meditation and some sound technology. Um, and again, in the next podcast, I'll talk about some of the different methodologies I use for my meditation practice. So I like to mix it up a bit. I like to mix it up in my life. I like to mix it up in my meditations as well. So I'm having this experience this morning. And this um, guided meditation I was doing is like called a spiral journey, spiral timeline. And the idea is... In, within this meditation, you're able to go forward in time, backward in time, anywhere in time, between lives, past lives, future lives, all of that sort of stuff. And you're just there and you're allowing yourself to go wherever it seems that you need to go. And at the time, I was feeling, before the meditation, a bit of tightness in my stomach, a little bit of a, a not sensation. So I was trying to figure out what was going on there. And I sort of associated it with a nut a bit of worry, a bit of uncertainty, a bit of unknown, even a little bit of uncertainty unknown about, you know, the program I'm going to offer in a couple of weeks' time. You know, how many people will show up, whether people will show up, blah, blah. You know, that internal dialogue that doesn't necessarily support you just doing your creative best and, you know, just showing up and seeing what happens. So during this meditation, I was drawn to an experience when I was 17 years old 17, was I 17 or was I 18? No, I was 18 by the ripe old age of 18. I'd been studying at the Australian Defence Force Academy at that stage. I was doing a, I started off doing an engineering degree, changed to a science degree, found it quite difficult because it was the first time I lived in communal sort of environment and I was easily distracted because I loved to talk to people and spend time with people so my studies weren't going so well. So I ended up um, failing um, my first year's study. I was doing a science degree, so failing first year, I passed two subjects, failed two subjects. So I remember coming back into our, um, our, the block and building that we were living in and I'm sort of walking up the stairs and there's a sheet of paper on sort of the halfway mark of the stairs, the notice board, these people need to see the divisional officer. And I'm like, I, I knew as soon as I saw that, that I was in the shit. I was in trouble and most likely around the academic side of things. So I make my way to see the, this um, divisional officer and he tells me I need to show cause as to why I shouldn't be removed from the Australian Defence Force Academy, blah, blah, blah. What ended up happening is I show course and I said, look, you're obviously not sure about what you want to study, but your military studies are good. Um, you've got the right aptitude, um, the right leadership quality. So what we're going to do is instead of you doing a degree, we're going to send you straight to the Royal Military College Duntroon, which is just military studies. No degree, just military studies. So go and do your military studies. 
away you go. So I walk over the hill and I go to um, the Royal Military College Dun Train. But the story I want to tell you is, I, in this meditation I was doing, I imagine myself going back and sort of putting my hand on the shoulder of the 17-year-old me, 18-year-old me, that's looking at that thing that knows they've failed their degree and feels like I've copped a sucker punch in the stomach. Because very rarely in my life had I failed anything to do with academics. Um, I'd always been a high achiever in that space because I worked hard for it. So it totally gutted me. So here I am projecting myself back in time. There's the 51-year-old me beside the 18-year-old me patting me on the shoulder and saying, hey, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to go off on this new adventure. You're going to meet people that you never would have met before. You're going to have an amazing life. You're going to travel all over the world. You're going to work all over the world um, because of the people you meet in this new pathway. It's going to open up the opportunities for you to work on Olympic Games around the world. You're going to end up in Bali. You're going to, like All of this stuff wouldn't have happened if I didn't get that punch in the gut moment where I failed that in it part of direction. So my, my thing is this, it's when one door closes, not just another door opens, numerous doors open. And it's not until hindsight that we realise that the worry that we have at the moment for the uncertainty of the future is actually wasted energy because it may well be that the future is so much greater as a result of that experience that you're going through at the moment. So even with this, you know, 2020, like, whatever you want to call that shitstorm, um, you know, it's the opportunity for pivots. It's the opportunity for course corrections. It's the opportunity to cut some stuff away. So rather than having a sense of worry about what's going to happen in the future, maybe we need to remind ourselves that as one door closes, as where we thought our life was going to be going and where we thought we were going to be in 2020, I thought I was going to be doing live life masterclass events around the world, one in Mexico, one in Europe, another one in Asia, some more in Australia. I thought all of this was going to happen in 2020. Didn't happen, door closed, new opportunities arriving and new opportunities, particularly with this online version now, to work with people all over the world that would have never been able to join me for a live event. So super cool. Doors opening all over the place. So let go of that feeling of tension, of uncertainty, of despair at where you thought your life was going to be changing and realising that that change is opened up the field of infinite possibilities for you to venture forth through. So breathe through that, like let it go. Let it go and open up to this idea that life is for you and not against you. And if you haven't watched that podcast, make sure you listen to that one. Life is for you. It's always reorganizing itself to take you on your greatest life adventure and allow you to grow and evolve into the greatest expression of yourself. That's what I have to say on that topic. Now, I've spoken a little bit about the Life Masterclass online, 27 to 29. Um, details down below. Check that out. Um, 10 live Q&A sessions over the course of it. You've got the content for 12 months. I keep adding new content in. There's some seriously awesome content there. So I think it's going to be a seriously awesome event. So I'd love to have you there. I've just dropped the price down again. So it's coming in at an extremely reasonable 247 US dollars for that. So that is a super awesome deal for the amount of content that is in it. So do check it out. Um, and if you want an even better little discount, and you've been with me, you've heard all the way through, if you put in the word beauty in invert, not in inverted commas, in capital letters, when you get to the checkout, you'll get a further $50 off. So it's coming in at $197. That is a wicked good deal because I know it's uh, an awesome program. And if you don't think it's awesome, you can get a money back guarantee. So all good, all good. So love to see you there. That's happening in about 10 days time as I record this. I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are on this beautiful, incredible, gorgeous planet of ours. Have an absolutely fantastic day and take care.